Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. This is going to be a quick recap. You guys remember in May, Khalid graduated from UNC Chapel Hill and moved to Maryland and is living on his own now, working at the NIH, which is really cool. We're so happy for him. We got a chance to go visit and explore Washington, D.C. and just really had a good time there. And it was just nice to see that he really is pretty independent and very happy there. This was one of the last trips we made in D.C. and uh, such a nice day. Anyway, I was so surprised as you saw on one of the last vlogs on my birthday when he came to visit. I looked like a hot mess, but it was all good. It was such a nice surprise. We got to take a lot of pictures and uh, it was just nice to have all of us together. Eventually, of course, Khalid had to go back and so we had to drop him off at the train station and, you know, watch him leave like we normally do. So now it's time for Kareem and Mariam to leave. And it's a lot, it felt heavy. <laughs> but before we do that, I figure I will show you what happened a day or two before. So first of all, I had made some jewelry because this is something I just wanted to do. And so I took some pictures with Mariam. I'm always trying new things and so I decided why not teach myself how to make some jewelry with polymer clay and I really like how they turned out of course you can see it's all dessert themed <laughs> I also made some flowers and yeah so we really had a good time taking pictures because maybe just maybe some of y'all might get some of these earrings in the future as I continue to perfect my technique but so far what do you think of these modern earrings or the cupcake earrings. I really like also this uh, rose that I make and I'm sure I'm gonna be making so many more in the future, so look out for that. Of course, cake season is coming soon. Y'all know I am writing a cake book. I have told you and it's coming soon, but take this as a reminder to soak your fruit. So of course I had to make some rum cake themed earrings which you see here and here's Mariam wearing them so cute right I can't wait to make more anyway so before they left I also filmed a uh, dessert recipe and you'll soon see what it is uh, Mariam usually helps me take some pictures and I'm vlogging at the same time this is the bread pudding recipe we're doing and usually if you see me in the picture, then obviously somebody else took the picture. That's my new camera, by the way, because she could have taken it with her camera, but no. Mariam, is your camera better than mine or no? Rude. Mine, I push you off that chair. <laughs> Look at the intensity. Look at the drive. Look at the intensity. This is 11, 11 what? It's 11.05 and tomorrow, look, I'm not even holding the camera right. It's 11.05 and tomorrow they are going to school, university. And it's not even like done done. I gotta let it cool. Add the confectioner's sugar and or dust it and then there's the rum sauce in the back and you guys are gonna see this in another video um, coming soon okay Kareem and Murray have a picture good morning it's July <laughs> August it's August 23rd Wow, honey, you are sweaty, ah, yeah. sweaty. Yeah. Yeah, he's been lifting um, all the kids' stuff, trying to pack it into the car. Because today is moving to college or moving back to college day. So, yes, this has been a day coming. <laughs> We're happy and apprehensive and all of that. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. God willing, it all turns out right. So anyway, she's up early. Uh, gonna have my tea 
and I wonder if the kids had tea yet. I don't think they had at least any heavy breakfast, so we'll see. We'll try to get that before we go. Uh, let's show you the bread pudding from yesterday. Yes. Can you see this go in the microwave? Uh, no, those plates can't go in the microwave because they're china. Hey, Karimi, you up? Let's see the haircut. <laughs> the lack of hair, is that why you got on a, a, a hat? No, it looks nice without the hat. Let me see, let me see, let me see what I did. Come, come closer. <laughs> I think it looks good. I think it looks good. <laughs> you won't need a haircut now for another month. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Mariam, it was so good. It was so good. I felt like it was crack. I wasn't supposed to eat any. It's not gluten-free, but I was like, I'm going to deal with the stomach ache later. It was so good. Y'all see that crust and the sauce? Mm. Wow. Yeah, I remember thinking your building was nicer, so cool. Dropping off her little baby girl and Kareem, my buddy. So, um, yeah. So it's it's you know this is a attempt number two to launch. You know, with uh, still under the pandemic threat and then with Delta variant. But you know, we, we wish you guys uh, you know all the best and um, you know. Uh, I know it's exciting, and uh, you know, uh, you hopefully you get out make there. It through two weeks. Well, on I don't campus. know. I mean, the school That's system. What they were betting. Well, we they, we don't know. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like if there's one thing, the only thing we know is is uncertainty. uncertainty. Things can change on a dime, you know. And you know, you got we got all different things going on: the economy, right? And it's like hurricanes. The are going up. It's, and now it's we're gone up everywhere. Back to school, wow. We're back to school. Like a bad time. Well, the, and the board of governors. Well, they got to have an education too. We, you Hurricane know, season's upon it's us. It's already upon us. So oh, I mean, there's just a lot going on. So you know, work, school, life. You know, trying yeah. to stay healthy. So. Um, but we wish them the best, right? Yeah. And who knows, maybe by the time they see it's next, we might actually have lost weight. Well, yeah. Because <laughs> your wife won't be cooking any rice now that they're gone. There's no excuse. We don't need rice in the house anymore. Lean times are coming. <laughs> Lean times. Lean times. Feast and famine. <laughs> it's going to be some famine. So yeah. My nose is yeah. a little red from that masking and stuff too right. anyways so but anyways that, does it, it doesn't feel i think for now it doesn't feel as emotional or as i don't feel as sad as maybe the last time when kareem was going hmm. maybe it's kind of i don't know maybe because we've done this like one two three times and now i feel a little better knowing that mariam has him well, that I mean, and it'll, I feel it'll, like she's so happy it'll, to finally. Yeah, launch. and it's like you're happy for her because you know, in, in many ways, you know, she's got kind of the short end of the stick in a right. sense. Her her college graduation, right. the pandemic well, hit. High school, I mean, yeah, didn't. high school. Yeah. Right. Didn't go. Right. Not and really. yeah, it didn't have the oomph that it did. You know, that transition. 
and then her launch into college <laughs> was a really was a no-go it was just like right she didn't even really she didn't even stay on campus we just put the stuff in her room right. and then sure enough uh she came home and in less than a week they're like everyone's leaving so right. it, you know we just so it never really so we you know for yeah her. it didn't happen for her so this time around it's like okay you know it's like you know it's all part of that you know life it, you know you gotta you gotta just go with it but you know we, you know they got all the protection they've been vaccinated you know i think that you know had it you know over a year of practicing good ppes and and you know the protocols so and uh you know you gotta let let your kids they gotta grow you know so how are you gonna them. feel now with no kids this is like okay, uh, that's literally the first time yeah, with no, no kids. kids exactly so i'll tell you in a week you'll tell them in a week i'll tell you yeah when Why? we have a, when we have our next uh friday oh okay we'll, we'll see how it goes a week without rice we'll see how that works <laughs> see how that works no rice a minimum carbs i think that's a genetic that's going to be a genetic issue well how is that a genetic issue man asian with no rice damn man well it's more than rice is the challenge it's the chips it's the, well, all the I, I things don't do that this. i don't get do the come chips. into the house that you go oh it's for the kids well it is for the kids well you know anyways we are waiting for them to get their key yeah keys keys yeah, right yeah, yeah. keys to their dorms yep and then i don't think we're going to be able to really stay too long we'll see yeah 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 you can't really park it's for loading and unloading so mm. so we'll see and i think you also you don't want to drag it out because that's the other thing you want to they got to give a sense of that you know of independence so um mm. well it is what it is i mean we did it right we were independent very young. Yeah. I See, like stuff like that, we won't be doing that anymore. We won't be doing that anymore. Boo, I'm looking at your burger. <laughs> oh, shit. It's busted. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we will not be doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm not eating any of that. Well, you I really that. would, but I can't because that shit is not gluten free. That's some. Sweetie meal, is that what it says? Swatty meal? What are you talking about? The bob, the, the thing, it says swatty meal? Or sweetie. Sweetie, what the hell is that? That's like uh, the, 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 the rapper, Sweetie. What? You know the rapper Sweetie? No. That's what it is. I don't know why you're trying to hide. We already see it. Man. So across here, I want you to see, these are two fraternity, sorority houses. This is what we worry about, you know? There's no social distancing. You know, the thing about college campus is when the kids get there, they just throw out any sense of safety. I mean, really, do you see any social distancing? No, just a bunch of young people crowded together. Yeah, there's social distancing. What's social distancing, Kenton? Look at that. They're, not, they're not sitting on each other's laps. <laughs> <laughs> for fraternities and sororities. Not, no, really. It's, it's, I mean, this is why you just have to let it go and let it to God. Because honestly, if we go by the rules we were told, this would be unsafe. But, hey, they're all together. <laughs> so Kareem's roommate <laughs> was there, met him, a nice young guy. Um, but because of that, of course, they were like, nope. Mommy, you can't stay and help me help us make the bed or do anything. So I had to be in and out, <laughs> in and out. 
Perrine was like, nope. So now we're going to go help Buriam get to her dorm room, which isn't far from Kareem's, which is nice. Cut my finger. Cut your finger? How? Why? Uh, on the back bumper oh. when I was trying to reset it. Right. Ooh. Bleeding pretty Sorry. Bad. Really? daddy -o. Mariam. And then we got Kareem in the back. Grass is so pretty. <laughs> she might have been here because there's a yeah ah. bed desk <laughs> so she's here already no she dropped off her stuff she's coming here today dropped off her stuff she packed one <laughs> okay, tradition, we're helping to put away her stuff. So I'm going to work on the closet a little bit. And Mariam's doing her bed. Oh, nice, nice color sheets, Mariam. They're like lavender, right? They're nice. <laughs> that was your contribution. Yeah, that's my contribution. <laughs> oh, you did? I was asking you if you can make it smaller. That will work for her, but the oh, unless she puts something to hold it up. Just a simple text. 
<laughs> Bye! That's it! The kids have been dropped off. Kenton and Habib are on their own. Too is that this is really like the second time around because remember yeah. the first time we did bring them, you know, they didn't stay, but mentally it was just like it just was more difficult the first time, yeah, yeah, and yeah, there's definitely comfort knowing Miriam has her brother, yeah, and I think, I think, the, uh, yeah, I think it's time, but yeah, like you were saying, um, Kareem thinks that they won't be on campus for too long because the kids there or the campus no one is really socially distancing or the majority aren't well, it's not, yeah they're not social distancing they're not enforcing masks right and uh, so you got all these kids crowded up in the yeah. dining hall yeah. and literally no one's wearing masks very few of the children or a few of the teens are oh, yeah. so Kareem's kind of like yep it ain't gonna take long before somebody gets sick and so then they get all sent home just yeah, a couple of clusters. And yeah. We'll see how that works. It's like we'll take your tuition. Yeah. And they That's send you, basically what it is. And then we they take send your you tuition. You have clues. to pay. Yeah. You have to pay now. now but uh, if everybody gets sick, you're going to send home. They don't. But they don't say that. They just say, oh, but pack light. Right. So it's, it's like little hidden messages. Right. They don't tell you if everyone gets sick. They never say that. They just say. Right. But we know that's yeah, what that means. But that's what it means. But they say pack lightly. I mean, it's like, whoa. Well, what if I, Why are we packing well, lightly? We just got here. Yeah, we just got <laughs> here, right. Especially for those students that are really coming from abroad or from the right, other side very, of the state. It's very, very expensive. I mean, it's yeah. expensive and it's emotionally draining. Yeah. Pack, take them, take them back, travel. You know, yeah. it's, 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 it's definitely a pain. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like you're, like you say, stuck on a, how do you say it? What? Stuck between a rock and a hard place, yeah. right? That's yeah. your thing. Well, that's right, it's that like you're thing. damned if you do, you're damned life. if you don't. It's my life. So they had to go. Anyway, we gonna go enjoy our empty nesters, <laughs> as they call it, empty nester life. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'm not quite up, up as up as I need to be, but yeah. Uh. All right, we decided to go for a walk early today. So I am feeling a little woozy because I took a Benadryl, which I don't normally take, and I'm super sensitive. So I took a children's Benadryl, not even an adult's, like 12.5 milligrams, not even a 25 milligrams, 12.5. I got up feeling a little woozy, slightly off balance. So hmm. anyway. Um, we're going for a walk. And why did I take that? Well, because uh, yesterday I ate some fresh strawberries, what we thought was fresh because we just bought it, but there may have been some mold on them, on some of them. And uh, <laughs> my throat literally started to feel tight. Like I felt like someone punched me in my throat and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, because I made a smoothie thinking, oh, I'm making something healthy, banana, strawberry, and blueberries. But I sat down and I, my throat felt weird. And then like 
I ate, I drank some more of the shake because I was like, ah, oh, nah, it's in my head. And then before bedtime, I was like, oh crap, my throat really feels weird. My neck is bothering me. So anyway, I decided to take a Benadryl before bed because I was like, girl, you do not want to go to sleep and your throat closes up on you. So that's what happens. And then today, I'm just like, whoa. You know, it's like a vertigo feeling. Like if I move my head too quickly, I feel off balance. Like the room is swaying, literally. So, so we still haven't gone for our walk. I'm plunked on the couch here trying to see if I can drink, drink, drink. This is actually warm water after I had that um, carrot juice that actually made me cold. So I'm drinking warm water as long as I get some fluids in to kind of wake up and also get that Benadryl out my system. And Mr. Man is over here. Kenton, you ready to say good morning? What you reading? Oh, uh, this is uh, from uh, the North Carolina Advocates for Justice. Um, it's an uh, organization I'm a member of. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically for uh, trial attorneys. And, um, but they advocate for social justice and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, so anyway, I'm just reading about building blocks, building. Give me like in simple English, what does that mean? What? what you just said some in simple English what was that mean like or a scenario where it's applicable well uh, social so well you know, you know bail reform here's one is where people are being held in detention mm. not not because they're guilty mm. uh, uh, per se it's because they, they can't, can't afford bail mm. or people are arrested and jailed because they owe money on fines Mm. which technically we've outlawed um, what they used to have in the 18th century in 17th century what was called debtor prison so if you owe money you mm. went to jail mm. and they would held you for you know a determined amount of time here people are being held I mean months really? sometimes up to years wow because they owe and we're not talking we're, we're talking about like parking tickets we're talking about really like, you know, court fees wow. these are fees in addition these are not fees that stem from mm. uh, the actual uh, issue that they've uh, been arrested or even uh, they're in legal trouble for. So, for example, um, say you miss a court date mm. and then the court assesses you a fine of $500 or even $300. Mm. You're working poor. You don't have that money. That's, that's in many cases, that can be rent or even half of someone's rent. Right. Or a month's worth of groceries or more. Mm. So they can't pay it. Mm. So then they get arrested uh, and then they get picked up, you know, either on a, a, a warrant or they get stopped, say, for a traffic ticket. And they found out, hey, you got unpaid fines. You're going to jail. Mm. They get held there until they pay it. Mm. They don't pay it. Then it accrues interest. See, that's the other thing. It accrues interest. And, it, and, and basically they're, uh, they're stuck. And then guess what? You're in jail, you lose your job. I mean, it's just a, it's just a yeah. bad cycle. You can't afford an attorney. Right. You know, so that's, so that's part of it. So there, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, thank you for that lesson. So Ken's helping me make an omelet. We didn't quite make it in our walk. <laughs> we'll probably go this evening. Okay. I kind of feel like putting the potato in and smushing it and then adding and just letting it kind of get crispy with the egg. So this is parboiled. And then I'm just gonna, I know it doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, uh, y'all. What are you Sabiba doing, Sabiba fired me. That's right. That's why you don't see my hands anymore. I got fired. Yeah. Cause this, I know how I want it. I wanted the eggs mixed with the potato and just kind of let it get a crispy layer. 
So, oh, it's nice and bright. Look at that. And today is 70s into the 80s, so it's not so hot. Oh, this hibiscus is so grown in front of my scallions. So this is just some green onion. Oh my god, I just pulled this one up unintentionally. Usually I just break it from the top. Alright, so we're just going to wash this, dice it up, put it in with the eggs and potato. Would you like some onions, Boo? On yours? Because this is more than enough for me. This is too much. Mm -hmm. Breakfast is served. I'm kind of happy so far since the children have, you know, been gone. I've actually lost three pounds. So I've been avoiding rice. Uh, and that's kind of my kryptonite. Rice and sweets or, you know, ice cream. I can't believe I literally have not had any ice cream in the last three weeks. That's a shocker for me, and I have not had any rice, and we are walking, you know, as frequently as possible. We try to walk every evening, um, so that's why even if I don't walk in the morning, I know we'll walk in the evening. How about some tomato? That tomato looks good, right? Might put a little slice of tomato with this, or just ketchup. <laughs> You all know me, I'm probably just going to do the little bit of ketchup. This is some spinach and green mix. I always hate when you see a plate with no green. So I always try to have green in my plates. I guess it was years since I've taken Benadryl. You know, I've never really had to take Benadryl, not in a while. I mean, before I used to like break out in hives easily. So I haven't taken Benadryl in a while. So me taking this 12.5, that's literally all I did, 12.5 milligrams. And I swear, I feel like, I feel like somebody who's just getting up from anesthesia. Tell you how powerful these drugs are. Be careful what you put in your body. Ugh. I swear. So that's why I'm trying to eat and drink to kind of flush this crap out of my system. At the time of this recording, I'm feeling better, but honestly, for most of the day, I was just feeling incredibly fatigued. I just couldn't muster up the energy. I felt off balance. I was having some GI upset, and I realized this couldn't be just the Benadryl, but clearly a reaction to the bad strawberries as well, because it turns out strawberries have histamine, uh, Benadryl has is an antihistamine and so that prolongs its activity in my body or in your body not to mention also the side effects of the uh, bad strawberries themselves anyway take care of yourselves everybody i am doing better god willing tomorrow will be a good day it will be a good day and i hope you guys have a wonderful work week ahead and thank you so much for watching Kenton and Habiba. Don't forget to thumbs up and God bless. Bye. Hi guys. Thank you for watching Khalid's graduation as he starts his launch. And we appreciate you and everything that's going on. Hope you'll be safe and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. What you got, honey? <laughs> huh? So I don't get in an accident while I'm driving. Yeah, yeah. That's right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you and we will see you soon.